Fire pump tests need to be conducted regularly to ensure their operational status. In this video, we will learn how to conduct a fire pump churn test and how frequently they should be performed. The churn test, also called the no-flow test, from the term itself, give us an idea that this activity does not involve water flow. Here, the impeller will simply rotate without delivering water, as if it's only mixing the liquid. Hence, we don't need to open the return line to perform it. The fire pump system is already designed to displace a small amount of water, even during no-flow conditions. It can do this using the casing relief valve for electric-driven pumps and the cooling loop for engine-driven pumps. This small amount of water prevents the fire pump casing from overheating and damaging the pump. Fire pump tests should be conducted weekly on most occasions, but NFA allows extending them up to monthly if the water source has a material effect on fire. This includes elevated water tank and pressurized fire mains because these water sources can deliver water to fire sprinklers even if the fire pump is defective. The duration on the other hand depends on the type of pump. That's 10 minutes for electric-driven pumps and 30 minutes for engine-driven ones. Here is a sample tabulation of the test frequencies and their durations. Conducting a churn test is easy and it only requires three simple steps. The first one is to inspect. We need to conduct basic inspection first before operating the pump. For this purpose, we need a weekly fire pump checklist. If you haven't got one yet, you might want to download our free maintenance book on our website, which includes maintenance checklists for fire pump, sprinkler, fire alarm, fire doors, and more. Link is provided in the comment section. We will go through the basic inspections as outlined in the checklist. But most of them can be as simple like checking if the suction and discharge valves are open, if the water tank is full, and if there are no abnormal conditions that might affect the test. Our second step is to simulate. We need to simulate a pressure drop using the sensing line test valve assembly. But before you do this, make sure you have disabled the fire alarm control panel if your fire pump is connected to the fire alarm. We will open the sensing line test valve until the fire pump controller reach its cut-in pressure. Now that the fire pump is running, we need to observe for any abnormal condition. Our last step is wait for the duration to finish. Again, that's 10 minutes for electric-driven fire pumps and 30 minutes for engine-driven pumps. Once the duration is done, we simply need to press the button right here to end the test. That's how easy it is to perform a weekly fire pump churn test. Just remember the three words, inspect, simulate, and wait. And don't forget to share this video and together let's build a fire safe community.